uh, taking off this little My channel my name is Danzy and welcome to today's video so today's video is a try it Thursday video and it is a day where I try out new products for myself well as I've said in the past they're not necessarily new products but they're new to me so I feel like they're new there are so many products out there in the world that we can't go through all of them however I do like to try what I can here and there I do tend to have a lot of like sample sizes which really helps in just trying something out to know whether you like it and when I want to buy the like bigger version of something and then I also have some full-sized items so if you like videos like these like some old regular Joe like myself trying things out stay tuned and also if you like vlogs fashion makeup girly things any anything of the sort feel free to subscribe to my channel join the Stanzi star family as I do quite a few videos a week and you're not gonna want to miss them so I'm sure you want to get started with the video so let's get started with the first thing that we're trying out today as we are going to be putting on makeup today let's start with prepping our face so I have a cleanser here that I wanted to try it is this nude by nature cleanser it's an energizing facial cleanser this brand is made in Australia what I love about this one, I got this, you have all these like little pictures down here, which I'm assuming is all the stuff that's in here. And it says lingonberry, kakadu plum, lily pilly, and then it's got it in a different language. <laughs> Let's give it a try, I'm just going to wet my face. Uh, taking off this little... Does anyone else use their teeth to take that out? Right, let's go. I have a little bit of sunscreen because I went for a walk this morning, so let's see if this is going to take it off. There's a slight scent, it's barely noticeable, but it feels like a thin gel consistency. I want a little bit more. I love gel cleansers, so I'm probably going to like this because I just like the feel of them. My skin actually feels really nice and fresh. I actually like that. It's not sticky, it does it just it feels soft. I like that. Now normally I do my skincare routine, but today I thought we'd do a mask to hydrate the skin before we put on our makeup. So I'm trying this JM Solution Hydrating Mask. I believe it's like a mask oil. It says, deeply hydrates rough dry skin, strengthens skin's natural moisture barrier. Now this is made in Korea, so all the writing on the back is Korean. So I'm not sure what it says, but let's open it up and have a try. I mean, it's just a mask, so it hydrates you, whatever it is. So let's have a look. Whoa, there's a lot of product on that. It's quite heavy. It's going to go all over the place. I just know it. It's so slippery compared to other ones. There is a lot of product on these. Normally there isn't this much product. This feels so slippery. Okay, I just, I think there's only one layer. On we go. You know, the size of this one is actually not so bad. Normally I have to cut out the eye area because I can't see, but this is pretty decent. It's very juicy, the excess on my hands. As I can't understand Korean, I do see a number 10 to a 20. So I'm assuming you put it, leave it on for like 10 to 20 minutes. I'm gonna leave it on for maybe 15 and then we'll come back and see how the face feels. Time to take it off. There's a lot of excess on there. It's nice. Let's come back in about five when it dries down. So it has dried down. It does feel a little on the sticky side. I am going to, however, put on sunscreen because I am going to put on my makeup. So I'm going to put on this Mecca sunscreen. I really like this one. It's one of my faves. And I'll catch you guys in the other room ready to do our makeup. Okay, so I had my breakfast and I dilly-dallied a little bit and it's time to put on makeup. So we are going to try out today this Sephora Glow Perfection Foundation. I'm quite excited to try this because I haven't tried out a new foundation. It feels like a while. I guess my Charlotte Tilbury was my last one. But I haven't tried out like a drugstore style one in a while. And while Sephora is not a drugstore, the Sephora brand is pretty affordable. So, And also I got this one on sale. I hope the colour goes well for me. In addition to that, we are also trying this Clear and Cover Sephora. So it's like a concealer, but it's a medicated style one. The ingredients do say that it has BHAs and salicylic acid in it. So I'm hoping that that's something that would help. Because normally, because I do have a couple of blemishes, like this one here on my lip. And a lot of the times, you know, you just put normal concealer. So I thought, 
what I could have if you had something that actually helped whilst it was concealing. So we're actually going to start with that first. Now, the shade that I got is 22. It is, it's a wand. Let's give it a try. It's quite fair, but I don't think that all medicals will be covered up. And then what I normally do is rather than it just being a dot, I kind of flatten it around the area so that way it's not like sticking out a lot. So far, I like the feel of it. I'm just going to let it dry down before we pop on the foundation so then I can see how they work together. So the foundation, I'm going to try one side with the sponge and then one side with a brush and see if there's a difference in when I apply it to the finish of the product. I haven't done this before because before I would only use the sponge and now I use a mixture of both. So let's give it a try and see what we like. Okay, let's... Let's just hope this shade works. It looks a little fair, but let's try it. Let's put it on. Okay, it's pretty fair. <laughs> okay. It's not much darker than the concealer, but that's okay. We'll give it a try. I'll use the sponge on this side. It's very fair, but it is sinking into my skin. I'm going to do a proper pump then because I was just kind of testing it for the color. All right, let's try Blending that out, okay. It is definitely quite fair, but we're not looking at the color because you know we can always get the correct color as long as the formula is something that works for me. And put, right now, it, it feels really nice. It's kind of like melting into my skin. I like that. And it's covering, but it doesn't look like cakey or heavy. Compared to my other foundations, it looks more like a medium coverage foundation. So it looks quite natural. Whilst I thought the shade was quite fair, it actually probably is the colour of my face, just not the colour of my body. It's not as shiny as I thought it would be. I would need a second coat because I feel like this area here, the redness, it hasn't actually covered that. So it, it, right, right now with this first cover, it feels like it's just like one of those tinted moisturizers. So it, it covers really nicely and it has taken away some of the red. But if you want extra cover, especially I guess with the sponge, I would say you need another layer. Now we're going to pop it on the other side and we're going to pop that on with the brush and see how that goes. So with the brush, it's come out a little thicker and the way I put things on with the brush I do like short sharp movements rather than like long ones because I don't like to get those brush marks second layer it's gliding on very very nicely I must say and it's not sinking into my pores or anything and there is a little bit of a glow I'm not sure if you guys can see but I feel like there is a little bit of a glow to it but it doesn't feel oily okay that is on on both sides I also had covered the little blemish that I had here, it was on the brush side, but it kind of just melted into the skin. But I feel like it's pretty decently covered. And if I wanted to, I could also apply the concealer on top just to like get some more action happening. Okay, so in looking at both of the sides, I feel that I like the sponge coverage a little bit better. They kind of look exactly the same. I just feel like it covered a little bit more. It does say on here there's hydration, so it's 10 hours of moisture. Oh, it does say buildable medium coverage. Okay, well anyways, I like testing things out to see what I think before actually I see that. So yes, that is exactly what I think it is. It is definitely medium coverage, and as I said, you could definitely build it so right now this to me is the medium coverage the first layer would definitely be lighter uh, the second with the two it's kind of like a medium and if you wanted a more heavy you could do a third layer but I like this is more of like a nice natural everyday look my skin does not look cakey it looks quite natural just looking at it in the mirror it looks very it pretty much looks like I don't really have product on but my skin looks decent this is definitely a nice everyday look. Now, because I'm someone who has like redness and texture and imperfections, I do prefer something that would definitely cover everything. But I feel like this is great for that everyday look so I don't look like so made up. We will definitely put powder on this just to see how it works. Like, because I always put powder on top of all my foundations. But I feel like you could literally just pop a little bit of mascara on and a bit of lip gloss and you're good to go for the day. And your skin just has that like natural sort of look about it. I'm just going to use my CoverGirl concealer and I want to see, because this is like the everyday concealer I have, and I want to see how it's going to work. They haven't really affected each other. I will say this one is a little bit dry, so I would recommend a more hydrating concealer. But this is now dried down and I like it, so I'm going to powder it up, 
pop the rest of my makeup we also have one more item to try out and it is an eyebrow pencil so it is this mco beauty it's a brow fill and set so it's a micro crayon and tinted gel so it's a two in one now i got this in the shade light medium and it says that it instantly builds beautiful brows so let's pop on the rest of my makeup and we'll come back to do the brows and we'll see how the foundation worked with powder so the makeup is on i did use my revlon powder just my regular powder that i have and the foundation worked really well with that it's like matted down but it's not that like dry matte that it looks cakey at all so it's worked really well and it still has a natural look about it so it still has that medium coverage but it's like a nice everyday natural look now let's open up this eyebrow pencil okay so we have one side has like a pencil thin and then the other side let's have a look what this is okay it looks like Okay, it's a little like wandy thing, which is nice that it's actually two in one because normally I just use uh, my NYX one. So this would be good to see. So let's give it a try and see how it glides on easily. This is with normally I do my eyebrows very early on. <laughs> okay, the color is pretty good. I like it. It's not too dark and it seems to be gliding on pretty decently. Yeah, okay. I don't normally do my eyebrows on camera because I'm not that great at it. <laughs> I like it it's gliding on very easily and you can see the color tone it's very easy to use let's try the other side so this looks like it has little fibers on it and then we're gonna just use that to set the eyebrow I really like how the brush is so small the NYX brush is a little bit bigger so sometimes I get smudge marks on my skin that works really well I'm sure you guys can see the difference let's do the other eye I feel like I can't even get my eyebrows to be sisters. I feel like I they're cousins rather than sisters. Now, the only issue that I would have with this is, and it's not really a bad one, it's that this bit, the like crayon bit, I will end up finishing way before the other bit. So then I'll have this leftover bit that I don't want to throw away and I kind of don't like that I can't use them at the same time because I'll definitely finish that off quite soon because usually I find these sorts of crayons I love them they go on so much smoother than anything that sharpens uh, they you know I use them up a lot quicker so that would be the only thing that I'm sure the ratio of that won't be even I'll end up using that first but otherwise I really really like this I'm pleasantly surprised let's pop on some setting spray this is the Tarte one it is my favorite we're not doing lashes today so far I really like the foundation a great everyday foundation the concealer is something that I can also use if I just want to spot treat and not put on foundation. So I like that too. And I really love the eyebrow pencil. So it's a few hours later on the day and I thought I'd give you guys an update on the foundation because I know we're going to want a wear test as well. It is important that when we put on the makeup it looks great but what's even more important is how it stays throughout the day. Now today hasn't been that hot of a day so I haven't really kicked up a sweat as you guys can see I have long sleeves on. However I did step out of the house, I went to the supermarket so I enjoyed you know a little bit of walking, a bit of like air conditioning on me and just you know being out and about and also when I got home it was pouring so I also got a little bit of rain on me as well and what I want to say is I feel like the makeup still looks pretty much as good as when I first put it on I even wore sunglasses and I barely have like that spot that you get when you pop your sunglasses on it doesn't feel shiny so on a regular kind of day where it's not too too hot I feel like the makeup has stayed put is looking pretty good so I'm happy with that I will be wearing it more often so I can give you guys an update on days when I'm like more sweaty and it's hot and how it lasts for like a lot longer throughout the day However, I thought we'd do one more item that's new, which is a food item. I picked this up from the supermarket. It is the scone loaf. It is new. I'm not sure about it. These, the Golden Bakery likes to come up with things. They came up. What was that last thing? It was like the French toast or something or rather. I got sucked into that and I didn't like it. And this, I think, was on sale because it was like two bucks. So that's not bad, but I will try it out and we will see. So I'll just do one slice in case I don't like it. But let me show you guys. It's a nice thick slice. It looks like regular bread, quite dense. I'll pop in the toaster and then we can put some jam and green and see if it feels like a scone. So this is what it looks like. I've used whipped cream because that's what I had. Now let's give it a taste. I do like how it's crunchy. However, it doesn't taste like a scone. The inside texture is not scone-like. It's different. 
To be honest, I'd much prefer a regular scone because I like how it's all crumbly. This has no crumble to it. It's pretty much just like a toast, which I kind of thought it would be, but I just want to try it. So if you want to give it a try, it's over at Coles. That's where I got it. I will finish the rest off though. And that brings us to the end of today's video. I do hope you enjoyed the try out Thursday day today and I hope you guys enjoyed the things that I tried out. I would say it was quite a successful day which I like. I love when I like all the products that I've tried on because then at least I know I'm going to use them and I'm going to be happy when I use them. And as I've said in the past, if there's anything that I've tried out and you're interested to know how I feel further about it, just watch my vlogs as I generally do comment on stuff that I use, if I still enjoy something or if I don't. And also my empties, I also tell you guys about that, whether I would repurchase something, whether it worked for me or it didn't. So thank you guys so, so much for watching. I do hope you enjoy these videos. If you do, please don't hesitate to give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below if you own any of the products that I tried on today and what are your thoughts on them. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.